Good morning, guys, and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky Fishing. Oh, what's that going on in the background? We're with the Phantom this morning in Cracker Flat. The Tinny's here. Tinny's getting a run, and the Phantom's on third cast of the morning. Had a bit of an inquiry, and uh, look what better way to start the episode. We're out chasing flatties today. It's another uh, big flatty mission. You might have to go around the front here in a second. I'll get out of your way. We're chasing big flatties. Hopefully, uh, well, the dream. We're chasing the dream. We're in an area that I haven't caught many big fish before, but there's some good fish here. There's plenty of uh, brim and... Oh, and a tailor. Oh, no, no. A tailor. We've pulled the hooks. It was a tailor, was it? Yeah. Good fish? Yeah. Right. Well, hopefully that's not the... Uh, the theme of the day but we got the hookups we're gonna have hopefully find some some more fish we're just having a bit of surface surface cast at the moment there's um stuff chopping all around us so we thought we'd stop and have a uh, have a cast at it crazy not to but then it's straight into flatty got a new weapon today this guy nine inch sluggo tried the slapsticks last time sluggo this time hopefully get them good get some good ones but and uh yeah look i better start fishing i'm getting out fished at the moment Got him that time. Oh no. Well, I'm using Mick Molnar's new splash prawn today. He sent me out a couple and they look the absolute goods. They're, uh, they're getting a few hits this morning too. It's just me trying to put the hooks in them is the, uh, is the determining factor at the moment. Come on. That's a tailor. <laughs> got a, I was like, that got to be a tail. <laughs> he flashed at it. Once again, we are faced with a net problem. This is a kayak scoop, <laughs> a live bait net, but look, we insist on making it difficult for ourselves. Where is he? You can't come flathead fishing with a real net. No. Little big eye. Oh, don't worry about me. Looks like a really good net for uh, getting hooks in. A little big eye off the top. Yep. Show the camera. Maybe grab that hook out. Look at him, all hands, fingers in the gills. <laughs> like an old school Beto. <laughs> you can see the filleting knife from here. <laughs> well, putting the surface lure away had a heap of hits, no hookups. Uh, I can't take it anymore. It's prime flathead weather, run out tide, beautiful. So you're gonna have to pick up the surface again later. Time to bring the big dogs out. Yeah, it's got 80 centimeters written all over it. Yes. Well, why they're biting? I've never been able to catch them. I've been up in canals and chucked all sorts of things in. Yep. Well, that's little Trev number two and a fart. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. Nice to find a big one. Yeah. Take some string. Still persisting, still persisting with the flathead. Uh, no sign yet. Come on. Come on. You got it? <laughs> What was that? That's going to be a brim, doesn't it? I think it's a brim, yeah, you just slurped it. Oh, he's almost convinced me to fish surface again. <laughs> nice. Oh, the brim master gets his prize. Yeah, it wasn't a yabby either. Usually a yabby. But you take that. A nice little brim. The purple on it. Nice colour. Purple hue. Well, it's 3 1. No more fishing for you. Yeah, but yours is going to be 80 centimetres. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to catch a brim now. <laughs> Surface lures come back out. Looks like too much fun. Ooh. I have him on. Oh, it's a bloody pike. That's not what I want for my first buddy fish. Just about to be towing this behind the boat. 
Well, someone had to catch it. <laughs> For any uh, Victorians or Southerners watching, there's your snook. You can keep it. You can keep it. You got it. I think it's that. It's got to be the um. Oh, the the Thomas. Well, he hasn't jumped. Yeah, it's brim. Another. Oh, he just sip, must have sipped the back treble. Off. There's the brim slayer. Still got it. Still got it. A lot different to the old. Thank God the bloody Oh. Get a bite? Yeah. Yep. Bite marks? Yep. Whereabouts? Oh, right in the middle. Shit. Oh, where? I can't see the other end of them. See? Did it, did it, did it, and then tore it there. Down that side as well. Yeah. Hit it. Had a go. Yes. Got him. Nice. There he is. Oh, he's alright. He's alright. He's all right. Well, I was about due for some success on the sluggos, and it's just paid off. Well, there he is there. Back treble, in the gob. He's a nice little fish. He's a, he's a good start. I've been persistent with the flat. I had one good hit before, but uh, it didn't convert. But that guy's a nice little starter. Can only go up from there, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It's, it's hard not to fish for brim when they're cracking surface everywhere. It's hard to stay dedicated to the cause, but hey, I'm in now. I'm in. No donuts. Yep. Got him. I thought I had one, but he jigged nothing. Again, back treble. There we go. Nice. Oh. Fight a death roll. That's a better one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Alright, and get sparked. Back treble, back treble in the gob. I'll see if I can open his mouth without getting bitten. Oh, back treble just came out. There you go. Hooks are out already. That was close, but he's a nice fish. He might be getting close to the 60 mark, that one. Good solid fish. There you go. Solid little fish. Not bad. Again on the big nine inch. So they're, they're definitely munching it. Just need to find the uh, big sisters or big mothers, whatever relation they are to these guys. Rightio. Ew. Have you else up in here? Oh, yes. Felt that one. Have I seen it? Ooh, this is a good one. Oh, oh no! Just spat it. That was a that was a buddy good fish. Oh. Look at that. That was all from it. Wow. We've got a 
den nede. Åh, oh, sukk den på topphook. Bakke! No! Oh, I haven't gave him a few hits. No, I was thinking it was a top hook. That was a good fish. I could could see him, he's but he Ah uh, Bugger he had it. You can see the uh, marks on the plastic. That was a good fish that one unfortunately. But I guess that's how it goes. He was on the top hook. The top hook come in all, all fouled, so I mustn't have set that hard enough or he was just hanging on to it or just lightly pinned. Ah. Got him? Oh, he's a good fish. No, oh, you got the brim rod. Just turned around. There he is. Oh, he's alright. Just give him a bit of a yeah, a bit of a, a nudge. That'll do. There we go. That is a same size as the one before you was. Last one. Oh, that's a good fish. And whoa. Yeah, that's the uh, little six inch slappy. And that was hooked on the top hook there, so he must have scoffed it right down. But yeah. Right up, give us a look at him, Tez. Hold him up a touch. That's a nice fish. I reckon I reckon that's mid 50s. Good solid fish. Send them home. There you go. See that one when it's a meter. Fingers crossed, good karma. Oh. You can just see it there, the camo, it's between yeah. two things, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Just, just the tail. Just tail. And it looks tiny there too. You'll never see it in the camera, but it's just down in here and uh, yeah, completely camo. It's awesome. Well, the bite is pretty well tapered off. Um, we haven't had any action for a fair while, but we're just chucking a few surface lures again. See if we can't get a whiting and uh, the splash prawn just paid dividends with a small brim. Big school of them came up. This guy got unlucky. But yeah, it's tough going, so I'm not sure how much longer we'll stay out here today. Yeah, I think the bite time was very much this morning and it's shutting down. We had a bit of a northerly come through and it's uh, been pretty quiet ever since, but keep plugging away for a little bit and see if we can turn something up. Phantom's found another brim. Is there any size to it? Oh, uh, middle, middle. on the net. He's called for the net. Oh, I'll do whatever you want. Just polling. He's hooked pretty well in the nose. He's alright. The snowy brim. Yeah. Nice brim. Got him. Another one. Um, caught him. Black, black swan. Yeah. Got some mates in there. Couple mates. <laughs> Another nice little fish. They're actually biting pretty well on the surface here. We're right up in the mangroves as you can see. They're only in a couple of foot of water, but they're uh, they're pretty keen to chew. Not bad fun. Good flathead substitute. Beats donutting. Got him. Got him on. What, getting a flathead on this, on the surface? Yeah, it's a shallow one. Huh? Yeah, I haven't seen any though. I haven't even seen a flathead spook. Little fella. Chill. Everybody be calm. Another little fella. Got 
got her. Another one on the uh, Mick Molnar. It's going well now. Just had to get my groove and uh, sort my action out. They love it. There you go. Do recommend. That's all she wrote, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we still got a few fish, but uh, no big trophies, unfortunately. But that's fishing. It's good to get out here. And, uh, yeah. Actually, tell me what you think of the new GoPro. So I just bought three GoPro 7s, so this whole thing was filmed on GoPro 7s. So let me know if you can see the difference in quality. I hope you can, because I just spent a lot of money on it. A couple of learnings from today. Mick Molnar Splash Prawns. They get the thumbs up. Haven't put them on a whiting yet, but uh, the brim definitely love them. And, well, as expected, that guy, I found my rhythm with him and the uh, the lizards. They like it, so got to feed it to a big one now. Just uh, got to avoid the small ones for a change. Phantom, what do you reckon? No, great day out. Enjoyed it. Good to be out here. You heard it first. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Plenty more videos to come, so keep your eyes peeled. Like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Catch you next time. Have a good one.